Hey YouTube, welcome back. Uh, reminder, if you want a lesson with me, yes, this person, check the link in the description below. Move that a little bit. So, you may have noticed, this is not an instrument you've seen before. Just looks like a straight tenor trombone, no counterweight, just kind of boring, it just kind of loops around, comes back. Well, this is my newest instrument. Um, this is replacement-ish, does different things, for my King 3B Silver Sonic. Um, the Jank Sonic, as it's known, um, comprised of many different parts, which is a great trombone, and I actually am going to miss it a lot. Just the uh, the niche that it held in my stable of instruments, and I try to have at least a surface level reason for all my instruments, has been taken by another instrument. And I didn't really have a niche for it after I got this other instrument. So. It has been sold, and I've got something that will fill a niche that I haven't really had an instrument for for a while now, which is something for not loud <laughs> commercial uh, tenor trombone playing. The 3B will do really well at the loud stuff, but there's a lot of stuff in LA that you don't play super loud. Big band stuff, not a super loud setting most of the time. Um, and I just haven't really had an instrument that does that very well where I don't have to play really loud to get the right sound and articulation. Um, and I've been kind of looking for a small bore box for a while. The problem is, small bore box do not lose their value like a lot of other instruments. You can find a nice, like really good playing King 3B from a good time. Like my friend has a 65 or something, pretty early 3B that he got for 700 bucks. Like so cheap. Perfectly playable, great slide, amazing high range, 700 bucks. You literally cannot find a professional Bach small bore, a, I'm gonna say a 12 or a 16. You cannot find one of those for less than like 900 bucks. And the $900 ones looks like look like they got run over by a truck. So I have been searching for a while because I couldn't like get enough money and make it kind of worth it to buy one of these instruments. Um, the last one that I had was 900 bucks. I have had a 16M before, and it wasn't very good. It was it was okay. It made like an okay sound. It really did not play loud. The high B flat was really flat. It was just very quirky, and for my needs at the time, it did not meet my needs. So it was gone. I bought a 3B that did way better. Almost everything I needed, it's gone. But I have a new one. And I got to avoid what I like to call the Bach lottery by having somebody play test a bunch of instruments. Um, DJ Kennedy is a name that some of you may know. He's a trombone guru. I don't even know what you would call him. Lives in Illinois and just has like hundreds of trombones in his house. Um, and I have a friend who was there just like last year and dropped by to DJ's. And DJ was like, all right, Go try some of the small bore box, and there's literally like 30 small bore box in this room. And so my friend sits down, plays all of them, and like makes a list, like top, you know, five or ten. This was at the very top. Um, and so I got to avoid the lottery of just buying a, a used box I'd unseen, unplayed, and having it be mediocre or bad. This is quite good. So this is a Bach LT16M. LT meaning lightweight slide, nickel, no oversleeves, and nickel crook. 16 meaning the, it's got 16 on it. And M meaning open neck pipe. So weird thing about small bore Bach trombones, except for the Model 6 and a couple other ones. I mean, they, they were basically a custom shop for a while. Um, all these small bore box that we know basically today have the exact same bell section. 12, I'm pretty sure the 10, the 8, the 9, um, all have this bell section. And the only difference is this has the M neck pipe. So if you see a 12, it's going to be this bell section with the standard neck pipe and not the open one. Um, and of course, something not in the designation of the LT16M is that the slide is single bore. 508 instead of dual bore 495 508, which is the stock box 16. So very confusing. You just have to know that this is a different slide, different setup than a standard box 16. Standard box 16 is kind of meh, like there's some good ones. 
um, but they're just kind of an oddball instrument. These are also oddball in a different way. Um, Bill Watrous, of course, super famous trombone player, jazz player, um, played a custom one-off instrument by Pepe, who worked at the Bach factory, um, and later became a Bach artist. And Bach was like, well, we should capitalize on the Bill Watrous name. Let's come out with a, a small board Bach that's his signature model. So they came out with the LT16M, which is similar to what the instrument he played, which is a Bach, but not exactly the same. His had like a totally different lead pipe and like a different crook and like all these other little changes that did not make it to the production model. So this is a Bill Watrous model. It's not what he played. And that's okay because it's still a pretty good instrument. One of the quirks is that it's got a very short lead pipe and some of them are pretty bad. Um, a lot of people will change out the lead pipe on an LT16M and make it a easier playing trombone. A lot of people will put on a Bach 3 or a Bach 3B, King 3B crook um, because the um, squared off crook is a little stuffy for some people. And I am probably going to put on, just like my last one, a counterweight again because this is front heavy. I don't like front heavy instruments. Anyway, on to this. Um, just talked about the whole history of the Bach organization. This is a pretty great little horn. I'm really happy with it. Um, so my friend played all these instruments. He marked this down as number one. And I was just kind of like, man, I love a small board Bach. And he's like, guess what? I have the serial number of my favorite one at DJ's written down. So I hit up DJ and he shipped this out. And it came in, of course, the worst case of all time. <laughs> Well, okay, this is not the worst case of all time. The Getson base case is the worst case of all time. But one of these giant coffin monsters, it's like larger than my base case, and it has this little spindly trombone in it. Um, the problem is the case is in like immaculate condition. It even has the key for the lock, so it feels kind of bad to just like throw it away. I'll probably get something for this at some point. I might just keep that for storage and this will go in a different bag if I actually need to use it. Oh well, this is a 90s instrument. It's got a over 100,000 serial number. It is not in perfect shape. You can see just kind of not perfect. Might have the lacquer stripped, but it's also not super worn down. The slide has no plating loss. I actually haven't even looked yet. Uh, bully for me. I already bought it, so it's kind of too late. Um, but it doesn't have any playing loss, and the slide is actually amazing. Um, I don't know if I've actually gotten a slide that just works like this out of the box. And what's cool is that it doesn't have any weird quirks. The high B flat on my previous one was like 30 cents low. It was really flat. And on this, it's like 10 cents low instead. So much more usable. The high range really just sings, it's easy. I'm not gonna play it right now because I've just been talking for like eight minutes and I'll just flub anything I try to play. Uh, but the low range also works and it projects. I can play it loud like you heard in my little intro clip. Um, some box just don't play loud. This one feels like it does. I mean, I'm in a small space, so who knows. Anyway, really happy with this so far. I've been playing it for like four days. Really been putting it through its paces, doing a lot of basics playing a lot of um, like lead stuff with a play along um, and it just feels really good and it doesn't feel wildly different or out there like some instruments can feel especially small bore box so very happy with this so far someday I'll let you know what it's like to play with other people um, that's the Bach LT16M and we'll see maybe it'll last like six months in my stable who knows see you guys next time